Cowboys vs. Buccaneers playoff preview coming at you guys. And after a putrid showing across the board in Week 18, I think the Cowboys more than ever need some good vibes if they're actually going to win a playoff game, let alone multiple. So like the video right now if you want the Cowboys to exercise some playoff demons and take down Tom Brady and the Bucks, like that video for me right now. You're watching the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey. It is the Cowboys at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The number five seeded Cowboys, the number four seeded Bucks. Both teams backing their way into the postseason. Tampa was locked into the four seed. They benched their starters halfway through against the Falcons and ended up losing that game. The Cowboys played their starters, had differing levels of trying in that game. Uh, they you, when you run the ball on third and five to begin, it just kind of screams you're not trying that hard. But all of the fears we have as Cowboys fans, all the times we've been burned, they once again reared their ugly heads in, this, in that game against the Commanders. Now they take on Tampa and the bad man, Tom Brady. When just looking at what they've done this year, the Cowboys should win this game. They should. The Bucks have not had a good offense. Now, the Tampa did beat you in week one, as we'll get into. And yes, Dallas is on the road since Philadelphia held on and took down the, um, took down the Giants. Everything's locked in right now, playoff-wise, as we film this before Sunday night football. Packers win. They are in. Otherwise, Seattle gets that number seven seed in the NFC playoff picture. Dallas trying to exercise a lot of demons. The quarterback had his worst game, Dak Prescott, in Week 18 since he was awful back in Week 1. In between those games, they've actually been really good on offense. They've dominated on third downs. But as Cowboys fans, we have those doubts, those naggings. Yeah, but what if they do that again? Because we've been burned so many times by this team and by the supposing quarterback as well. Tom Brady has never lost to the Dallas Cowboys. He is 7-0 and all time. 2003, 12-0 win. 20, 2007, blowout win. Narrow win in 2011. Blowout in 2015. Narrow win in 2019, that really bad borderline monsoon game. Narrow win in 2021, thanks kicker. And then the Cowboys offense laid an egg against them this year. The One of the worst performances the Cowboys have had. Really week one, week 18. Bad bookends to end the season. So with that in mind, injury news coming, keys of the game as well. Who you got in the playoff wild card round matchup? Number five, Dallas, or number four, Tampa? C for the Cowboys, B for the Buccaneers. I will make this question the pinned comment on today's video. So if an ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there, type in C or B. Let's hit some injury news and notes here as promised. We we'll go at the center. Tyler Biotish battling a high ankle sprain. Latest buzz has been optimism out of the Cowboys organization, the trainers and whatnot about Biotish's recovery. Chance he plays against the Bucks. Hopefully will lead to some better results in the ground game, which we'll get to here in a little bit. If Biotish can play, this would be your offensive line. Make no mistake, they do miss, um, I think, in a pretty big way, uh, Terrence Steele at right tackle. He, of course, is out for the year. Good news, though, is on Leighton Vander Esch. He was limited at practice this past week leading into Week 18. A very clear sign he will return and probably play and start against the Bucks. I think would be a big boost to your pass defense and pass uh, run defense as well. <sighs> Damone Clark, Anthony Barr get beaten space too much for my liking there. Jonathan Hankins, meanwhile, should the Cowboys have said publicly – be able to return. Now, we'll see if that actually ends up happening, but we'll have to wait and see on Hankins. Some more injury news coming, but first, today's Cowboys Report is sponsored by Fume. We all have bad habits, and we certainly know how hard they can be to kick those bad habits. Our sponsor, Fume, is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. 
I didn't expect much out of Fume when I got it, to be honest, but the minty sensation is really powerful. Hits the back of the throat so well. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors for you to enjoy. Maple pepper, crisp mint, and my preferred flavor, the white cranberry. Now, Fume is not a vape. It is a non-electronic device designed to transform your negative habits. The easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one. And Fume is designed perfectly to do just that. Head to tryfume.com slash chatsports and use code chatsports. Save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfume.com slash chatsports. Use code to receive an additional 10% off on your order today. That's tryfum.com slash chatsports. Try fum.com slash chat sports. Links in the comment section and the description of today's show. Now, those last three injuries we knew about entering week 18. These two new ones, well, we're going to have to monitor. J. Ron Curse left the game. He slammed his head into the back of the field. Uh, on the back of his head, under the field, I should say. I think he'll be okay. Concussion protocol, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> this one worries me. Deron Bland, this is the newest one, left the game with a chest injury. He will be evaluated more in depth on Monday. If you lose Deron Bland, your only other competent cornerback beyond Trayvon Diggs, I mean, they played Trayvon Mullen a ton today to see what he can do because, again, ah, they weren't trying all the way, and it kind of showed in the results there. I have no trust in Kelvin Joseph. I have no trust in Mackenzie Alexander, who would probably be your new nickel. They played Tyler Coyle nickel, and he was terrible. Um... Sean Wright's not very good. Mullen made the occasional play, but Wright got beat the two big times they threw at him. If Deron Bland can't go, Russell Gage, Chris Godwin, and Gage also a bit banged up today. Oh, boy, I don't like that matchup uh, at all. So we'll keep you guys covered on those uh, injuries, th injuries throughout the week. Hopefully, knock on wood, they're going to be okay for the playoff game against Tampa. So let's break down my keys to the game beyond everyone plays well, right? Looking at you, quarterback. Number one, defensively stop the big plays the run defense has been better I think they were pretty gassed down the stretch against Washington the run defense has been better the passing defense has regressed again and the last month or so entering the final week of the games week 14 to 17 Dallas's pass defense on a per play basis bottom three in the NFL now you got Mike Evans Chris Godwin and bad man Tom Brady I don't like that very much. Got to figure that out. Rick the score for me of the Cowboys against the Bucks. Let me know in the comment section who you got winning and what the score is. Number two, and if I could pick like one thing beyond the turnovers, right, that's a little too obvious. One thing I want to make better about this Cowboys offense is the ground game. We saw it against Washington. Since Terrence Steele has left with that torn ACL, the Cowboys cannot run the football. They can't do it. Ezekiel Elliott, eight carries, 10 yards. What the hell are we doing? That's bad. And you know what the problem is? You want to run the ball on first down? That's fine. You've got to be able to actually run the football because otherwise the result's a disaster. And you're, you're now in second and long, third and long, and you're asking the quarterback to ball out, play out of his mind, which he's done several times this year and did it against the commanders. And when you're one-dimensional, it's not very good. You can't run the ball for two yards on first and ten. You've got to figure something out against Tampa, a great run defense, or it's going to be, all right, Dak, go drop 30 for us. And I don't like those chances very much. Now, we will be live for the Cowboys against the Bucks. By the way, I do blame the offensive line. They ran the ball on a first and ten. They checked into a run. They got seven blockers, six linemen, or six guys in the box. No gain. <laughs> it's not a player's issue. It's a scheme issue. An execution issue up front, not your skill players. We'll be live for this game, by the way. Cowboys versus Bucks. Save your energy for the meltdown mode if they lose that game because we'll be calling for head coaches' heads getting fired, I promise you. Number three, key to the game. Well, up until the game against the Commanders, you were dealing on third down. You were uh, converting an unbelievable 56% of your third down situations, an unsustainable number. That's why we've talked about on the show. Third downs, you're kind of relying a bit too much on that front. Up until the Commanders, Dak Prescott by far had been your best, the best third down quarterback in the NFL. Unreal rates, and they hit the learning curve, like the, the regression curve, like the Atlanta splits. They go 4 of 18 on third downs. That's not going to work. 
You play like you did against Commanders, you're getting boat raced by Tampa, and we're all screaming for McCarthy to get fired, and everyone's mad, and I understand it. You got to be better on third downs, especially, and I'm worried about this part more than I am the third down stuff, because that was an outlier bad game on third downs. The run game, leading rusher with seven carries, 19 yards. That's shit. Key to the game number four. Got to change the game plan from week one. Uh, you you all remember, right? After the game, Bucks defenders like, yeah, we knew what they were going to do because they called the exact same plays from the last time we played. Figure it out. Don't do it again. The Cowboys got spanked by the Bucks, 19-3 in week one. They ran the ball for a rather deceptive 5.2 yards per carry, but they didn't really commit that hard to the run. They tried to throw it a little bit more. Pollard had six carries for eight yards. Again, as a unit, they were the ground game was 16 carries, 60 yards. No explosive plays on the ground. Got to figure it out. Figure out the run game because as good as Dak has been on third down, who here really thinks that if the ground game has been what it's been the past month, the Cowboys will make, will make some noise in the playoffs? I don't. I don't trust them to get away from the run fast enough, and I don't think you can have four in consecutive against playoff caliber teams out of his mind games for your quarterback. It's just not how it works in the NFL. And we don't trust this team either. So be honest with me. Do you believe in the Cowboys? Why for yes and for no in the comment section. Key to the game, number five. Just fucking win. It is the, I, I, I understand. Every person who voted no that you don't believe in the Cowboys. I get it. I'm 30 years old now. I am now old. I cannot remember playoff success. The Cowboys not won a road playoff game since I was a newborn. I was months old. I was born November 25th. The Cowboys' playoff run that year, they won a road playoff game. It's the last time that's happened. With that said, although the odds are not out at this point, the Cowboys should win this game. Tampa's not good. Now, we're coming off a terrible performance, and our confidence as a fan base is shattered. I get that. This Cowboys team, in big games, in big moments, in playoffs, they've got demons. This franchise has playoff demons. They can't find ways to get it done. You have to win this one. Because if you don't, I have no faith in your head coach. As good as Mike McCarthy has been this year, especially up until week 18, he should be top five in coach of the year voting. Can't get it done? Make a change. It's not working. So with that in mind, I do have the Cowboys winning. I think it'll be a narrow game. It'll be a little bit ugly. It'll be nervous. It will not be that fun. I've got the Cowboys winning, though, 23-20. to 20. It'll come down to the stretch. Hopefully your suddenly bad special teams that showed up last week will, will be fixed against the Commanders. They'll be better. The quarterback will get back to the way he was in between his first and last of the regular season, and the ground game won't be god-awful. I would love some big runs. That would make me a lot better. Defense has been better. Get some turnovers. Good things happen. Again, folks, we will be live for the cowboys Bucks playoff game. Whenever it's played, a lot of buzz about Monday Night Football, by the way. Hit that sub button for free right now.